In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to improve your prompts in Diffusion P. So if you're brand new to this application, it's really cool, it runs locally on your machine. You don't need any coding or anything like that. You just drag and drop and install and you're ready to go. But if you ever run into the issue where, you know, maybe your images don't look as cool as they can be and you want to see how can you increase the overall quality, this is a, a way that you can try it out and see if it works for you. A few different things that are, will play a factor in your generation. One, the model that you're using, resolution that you have your image at, and the number of steps that you have also will play a factor. So for these examples, I just kind of took this prompt from someone on the Discord and made this like little um, waves on the beach and stuff and it looked really good. So you can get away with using simple prompts and more complex prompts and you'll just kind of have to play around with how many steps and, and you know the resolution and you can get vastly improved images. So with that in mind, I just made one of like Britney Spears. So say I want to make this a uh, cartoon version of Britney Spears but a little bit more detail, what can I do? Well one, I can increase the resolution which I already did. Number of steps which I did. Picked a model from Civit AI that looked pretty good and seems like it can get some really good results. But my prompt kind of needs a little bit of help. So, so far I just have a cartoon version of Britney Spears. But we can fix this. So in ChatGPT, I'm gonna give you a formula you can paste and see if it works for you. So in ChatGPT, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and sign up for that thing. It's free to do, just need an email. And you're gonna copy and paste the prompt that I'm gonna provide in the description below. You can modify it how you like. Originally I had a slightly different formula because I have my models that use my uh, name at the beginning. So it's, it was a little different, but I tweaked it a little bit and see if this will work for you. So by telling ChatGPT that it's an expert at these things or, you know, really proficient at these things, it can then for the most part do the task that you're asking it to do. So I'm going to begin this by saying you're a prompt engineer and an expert prompt generator and your primary focus is to generate prompts for an image generator called Diffusion B. You will use the following formulas to generate image prompts. I will provide you with a regular prompt formula and a negative prompt formula. Confirm you understand the object of the objective and do not start until I tell you to. So I'm going to copy this into uh, you'll you'll copy this into your ChatGPT and then you'll paste these prompts. Uh, essentially, it's going to be again. You can modify this how you want to and tweak it. So I have the artist name, I have uh, image description, characteristics, and then you'll still have to kind of fine tune this a little bit, but it'll give you a better starting point. All right. So that looks good. So that's that formula. So I have the regular formula and the negative prompt formula. So then I have all that pasted and all this is in parentheses so it knows what the formula is. And I'll send it off. So it's gonna confirm that it understands this formula first. Cool, so now it knows the objective and now it's saying, you know, provide it with a prompt. So I wanna make a cartoon Britney Spears. You're gonna ask it to help you with this. It's gonna look at what I have currently. It's gonna understand my formula that I gave it and then it's gonna give me three improved prompts. So I'm gonna press generate. So now that it finished, I'm just going to copy pretty much all this and then I'll fine tune it in Diffusion B. Back in Diffusion B, I'm going to paste this here and then we can kind of refine this a little bit. So I'm basically picking and choosing the parts I want to keep. And so that's a much better starting point. So I have a lot more detail now. I have kind of refined it a whole lot more that kind of fits what I'm going for. And I think I'm good to start. So I'm going to hit generate. And then again, playing around with the samplers can also change what your image will look like. So try it out. I'm going to add a few different ones in the queue. So I'm going to pause this here and come back when this is all done. So now our last one kind of wrapped up here. I have one more in the queue, but we can see the like vast difference of you know, the original versus you know what we have now. So it's a lot more hair detail. The face looks a lot better. Same model and everything. It's just just a lot more well done. This is like a wonderful like starting point here. But you know, if I wanted to match the camera angle, I can say like, you know, wide shot or something like that and see if it can kind of improve it from there. So hopefully this was kind of helpful to you. If you haven't used ChatGPT with Diffusion B before, uh, give it this a go. See if it kind of helps your workflow. Again, you can try this out for a bunch of different 
platforms out there, but I like using this with Diffusion B to kind of help improve my overall images. And stay tuned for the next episode because I'll be covering more tips and tricks.